Hey, what's up, YouTube? Little man with a big opinion here. Uh, up late at night, didn't really have anything to do, so I thought I'd throw together a uh, EDC uh, survival kit for you. Uh, in the morning, I'll go get uh, maybe an Altoids can or two, um, and do more condensed versions. Uh, and then hit up Walmart and pick up the items um, that I'm missing that I would like to add to this kit. Um, and then some forms of containers that I've seen in other kits, um, but I just don't have the supplies with me. So by all means, this kit's not complete. Um, I will talk about the few things on the list that I do plan on adding, um, but for now, you know, I feel confident that I could at least survive a night or two with what is in this kit. And then I've got a, a list, a little shopping list for um, additional things that I will add to it. And we'll go from there. So, um, I got this clunky container when I was like 12 years old. Um, it was just something my aunt saw on Amazon. She thought it was a, a cute stocking stuffer. And um, for the most part, I've thrown out 90% of what was in this container. So, um, the first thing I threw out were the foam, uh, foam inserts on it. Um, they took up a bunch of room, and I just didn't think they were necessary. So on the outside, I've just got a thing of paracord. Um, I don't know how yet I want to secure it on the outside, but it's going to go on the outside. So opening the tin up, um, the first thing I have in here is, this, so this is the only um, paper money I have on me. Um, but I plan on putting uh, about 10 or $15 in fives and then 10 or $15 in ones inside this kit. So that's just kind of a placeholder for now. Um, I think it's a good idea um, to have 500 to to $1,000 on hand for any emergency. Um, the uh, coronavirus has definitely spent most of that emergency fund just adding extra depth to the preps I already had in place. So in this little kit, I'm going to say between 15 and $50 is how much I would put inside of this kit. So outside of money, next thing I have in here, I've got a couple band-aids. Um, I have a moist towelette. Um, and within that category, um, the, the big thing that I'm actually missing is a handful of straws. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to go to a fast food place and uh, get a couple of straws when I order food or if I'll actually buy a container of straws. Um, because I was putting this together um, because a friend of mine asked me about some prepping stuff. And he didn't know where he wanted to get started. I said, watch YouTube and then make an everyday carry kit. He didn't know what that was. I told him about it and he said that he would be willing to purchase one of these off of me. So, um, if he wants to purchase one, I'm going to assume other people would like certain kits like these. Um, and so maybe that'll turn into a thing. Um, next thing on the list is a flashlight. It's a fairly bright flashlight. This thing was a dollar at Walmart. Just the standard LED. Um, it comes with the three batteries that are AAA. Uh, and so for this price and this brightness, um, I thought that was a good deal. But it is a very bulky flashlight. And so I do plan on finding something that is much smaller. Like they make flashlights um, the thickness of a pen, and I would say 
The smallest one I've seen is from the tip of the pin up to these like silver markings and with batteries nonetheless. So a flashlight is on the list. Um, for the medical reasons why I would use um, uh, the straws, my bad, brain fart, is I've seen people put small amounts of Neosporin inside of them. And again, you know, straws roughly the thickness of this pen and they put a little container of Neosporin. Uh, and then I've also seen them put painkillers inside of it. So just got some standard aspirin and some HC brand uh, pain reliever. Uh, one's acetaminophen. Uh, and then we have aspirin and then you could even put, you know, I'll probably do acetaminophen, aspirin, and, um, some Tylenol or Tylenol is acetaminophen, uh, ibuprofen. Um, and so get, you know, enough pain pills that if you, you know, say for instance, you hyperextended your knee or you twisted your ankle, you've got something to help alleviate the pain and they'll, take a little section of a straw, um, heat seal either side and throw in a couple of, uh, painkillers. And then as I go further on in the kit, I'll explain some of the other things that would use the straws as well. I just have the little, um, some people call it the toilet paper packet. Some people use it as just the napkins, uh, from an MRE. Um, so this is kind of a comfort item, you know, you know, that one last hoorah of, you know, wiping your behind with this or even the moist towelette um, or using this for a uh, tender source. So, like I said, you know, having a good, decent tender source, you know, I threw in uh, a little packet of MRE matches as well. Um, thought I had a lighter in here. Oh, I did, I had, I took the lighter out to uh, seal the ends of this paracord. Alright, so I did have a lighter in there, just picked it up real quick. It's just, you know, a 99 cent gas station lighter. Makes a flame. So, easy, easy fire source. A little bit harder fire source, but two fire sources nonetheless. Um, next thing I have in here, yeah, this was the compass that came in this kit. Uh, I don't have it sitting here around me, but you know the standard issue Army one is a good compass. I love it, um, but for size wise, um, this takes up less space. Uh, I don't know if at Walmart they sell the ones that just go on top of a uh, like a walking stick or the ones that are attached to the whistle, which brings me to the next item. This was also in here. Um, these whistles are fairly loud, um, and I'm probably going to take the little keychain part of it off just to save on weight a little bit. Knife. You know, this was just a small knife I had lying around. A uh, little buck knife uh, design. You know, it's a Tomcat. And so it's a small knife. I'd say it's an inch and a half, two inch blade. Um, but a knife is an essential part of these kits. Next item, more warmth. Um, it's not cold down here in Southeast Texas. So this is definitely a seasonal item in my opinion. Um, paired with the space blanket that I plan on picking up at least one for this kind of kit. Um, this is definitely a, uh, a good source to have. Um, paired with a space blanket, you know, use one of these a night and, you know, put it down at your feet because that's what tends to get cold on me first. And you might be able to have a better sleep night. And then the last thing I have in here is a wood uh, saw blade. Uh, so this one has been used a little bit. I was, you know, testing it. Uh, it's a 
it's a nice solid length blade. You know, it has to go diagonally in the kit for it to fit. Um, but taking out these paddings definitely helped um, to put more stuff in here. And definitely for wood gathering um, and maybe, you know, using thicker stuff to build a shelter. Um, I definitely think this is the premium item in the kit so far. Uh, next thing, um, you know, other things that I plan on putting inside the um, tubes from the um, straws is a little bit of toothpaste, uh, maybe a little bit of sunscreen, maybe, you know, um, anti-itch cream, other things like that. Um, I do plan on adding a fishing kit to this. You know, with a handful of hooks, you know, a container this size, I definitely want to do a decent amount of fishing line. Um, and I'll add lures as well. Because um, you might not always be able to find some worms or grasshopper or something. So, other than that, uh, let's look at the list. I talked about the space blanket, I talked about the toothpaste. Um, I don't know where any of my right in the rain equipment is. Um, it's not in my ruck. Um, I don't think I've used all the sheets, and um, so that's something that I will add. I'll have to either find that kind of stuff or purchase more of it. Um, I also want to add um, iodized or iodine tablets as well, and I've been kind of thinking about some sort of small glass container uh, that I could put some. Uh, bleach in just to create even more um, redundancy uh, one of the items I took out which you know, at some point these became a you know a staple in the you know these need to belong in a in a survival kit um, and that's those little wallet guys uh, so it does come with like a little two inch saw. The only thing I like on it really is the can opener. Bottle opener is kind of nice. Um, the blade edge is somewhat sharp. Um, having, you know, different tool things are kind of nice. Rulers, kind of nice. Flathead screwdriver, you know, kind of nice. I don't think it's, you know, useful in my situation. But, you know, this also has a ruler on the side, so that replaces this issue. Big saw blade replaces saw, small saw blade. Um, and pocket knife can open cans. But the big reason why I took this out of this container is this one's been in my wallet since this container was given to me. Um, it has traveled from wallet to wallet. Um, and I have forgotten even that I have this in my wallet and I've flown on a plane once with it and I didn't even know and TSA didn't know so it going in my thick wallet um, definitely I mean I don't think I need two of them so freeze up some space inside of the container um, I would like to put something in here that's kind of calorie dense, maybe a small chunk of an SOS um, or a lifeboat bar, you know, maybe a hundred calories worth just to, you know, give you a little bit of energy. Um, you know, you can't store a ton of food in this container, unfortunately. Um, I believe it was city prepping. It might've been urban prepping. I don't know. But inside of their get home bag, um, they had one of these inside of it. And inside of it, they also had pre-made snares. So I might look into putting a snare into this container. I just, I don't know yet. But here are all the items. You know, all kind of laid out. Hand warmer, saw, knife. And I kind of just piled everything up as I took it out of the container. Um, the container is also somewhat water resistant. Um, it doesn't have a rubber seal in it that I can see. 
Um, I just think it's got the indention lip on it. Um, so it's somewhat water, um, waterproof or water resistant or whatever you want to call it. So definitely the straws are going to make this kit more interesting. Um, but for now, you know, a pocket knife to cut stuff, um, cordage to do lashings to help set up a shelter, um, saw definitely helps with the shelter, uh, medication, a light source, a heat source, and a small amount of first aid is what I've got. I know I can survive a night with this until I could better prepare myself or get home just using this. Um, you know, I'm, I'm confident in all of this gear being in one position or one place and, you know, hopefully in the future after all this um, fire stuff goes away, I'll, you know, I'll showcase me using this for an overnight. You know, everything in this tin is what I got. So, hopefully you liked the video. Um, definitely in the comment section, um, leave, you know, maybe a picture of what you have, suggestions, what you might add, what you might take out. You know, it's your personal opinion. Um, maybe, you know, you've used one thing more, so you might want to add some more redundancy. Maybe you've never used something. Uh, maybe yours is also based off of your environment. So it might get, you know, colder where you're at and it snows more often. You might be in the desert, so you might want more water options. That's, you know, that's your own deal. So, you know, I'll do an update video on this as I complete it. Um, so there, this will definitely be a three-part you know, the initial, what I had laying around, what I could put in this to, you know, create something that helps with a, you know, peace of mind for me, updating it with more stuff, and then, you know, supervising and refining it to the point of I'm confident in this system. After this is completed, the next thing that I'm adding to my preps is a... 24 to 36 hour um, survival bag, bug out bag, everyday carry bag, car bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a smaller bag. Definitely, you know, this will probably have a home in it. Um, and we're going from an overnight um, survival gear to a one to one and a half day survival gear. And then we'll showcase the bug out bag. And then after that, we'll showcase, you know, a shelter in place idea. You know, you can see the bin that I'm on top of has most of my rice and beans in it. You know, that's definitely the bug in stuff. Uh, and then after that, we'll do a, you know, sustainment and a, um, you know, how are we continuing to survive? So plants different animals that we plan on adding, you know, how are we going to um, reproduce the supplies that we're using up. So, like I said, you know, I, I did kind of did my outro and then I had more stuff to say. So, like the video if you enjoyed it. If you enjoy what I'm doing with the channel, please consider subscribing. You know, I post videos as often as I can. Sometimes it's two or three a day, sometimes it's one a week. Um, it's definitely one every two weeks and with that I'll catch you next time guys. Peace